Hopefully, I don't think this is going to be the case. It'll just be like, ah, I now know how to do these things. I won't have to do all the stuff. Which one of us should shut down the gun? I thought so. Uh, Tally again. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Firing everything. Oh dear. Okay. Oh dear. I can't even see you. Oh dear. <laughs> Not always the headshot that's best, I find. <laughs> um I assume we're gonna grab the turret. Oh, uh, I assume it's like the off. I assume these are just the opposite of what the. Uh I can't see you. Oh. Yeah. Tech squad mate. Okay. What? Should I now press the button? Who should disable the gun, Shepard? Tally again. I suppose you, you could like alternate and pick a a Ashley at some point. Another good prime. Go down. Grand. Sorted. I hope you you've got some kind of weapon. You're gonna deal with the jamming tower. Or are we hacking it? Good. I was worried you're gonna do something stupid like ram it. This is Commander Shepard. Gordon didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't. Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? Stay together. We'll meet you there. No, be careful. Cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Uh, we're coming. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. So will you. My people are not combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them. Oh. So this is a, do you save the crew, or do you save the Admiral, and if you save the crew, then the other ships will just leave, because they're not being held together by Chorus. <sighs> or do you leave Chorus to die? Or do you leave the crew to die? <sighs> we need a peacemaker. We, we need Chorus. Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians, our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help.
ancestors forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. This is another turret section. You know, people can assault rifle from the top, can't they? Wait, Ashley, you have an assault rifle. Tally, I think I think you've got a submachine gun. Oh dear. Welcome aboard. Shipment, my crew. Perhaps there's still time. Hello? This is Ralph Forrest. Does anyone copy? Hello? We've got to go. I'm sorry. Pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I returned. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Okay, so we don't have uh, this little bit of dialogue anymore, um, which is good because I really wasn't sure what to do with it. I think I was leaning towards. Um, I don't know. This one, save people. Zen, you can always send a salvage team later. Hooray! Saving Quarians, I hope. Nothing new. Oh, yes, Quarians. Admiral Zalcoris! Yay. When Admiral Zalcoris sacrificed his vessel to save a live ship, the civilian fleet thought they'd lost their leader. After Commander Shepard brought Zalcoris back, he passionately argued that the safest action for the civilian fleet was to stay with the flotilla. His captains rallied and stayed. The story of Zalcoris's miraculous survival on Geth-infested Rannoch has spread throughout the flotilla, making him a reluctant hero as he mourns the loss of his ship and crew. And we're at 54 percent. 54 percent everywhere. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this works because I because th they all went up by five and now they've all gone down by one. So I I don't know how how this works because there's no point in them all being different places if they're all going to go up the same level. Um. But that's just a complaint about the game mechanisms, because it just... Why is this thing? <laughs> All these different things. Um, yes. Right. Um, how much time do we have? Ooh. Um, can we 
talking to people? Is there new things to talk about with people? Shepherd Commander. Uh the Reaper's mind? What was interfacing with the Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Uh, oh, 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 this is way back when in comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming. Unknowable. Yeah, we have this dialogue because it's like, oh, they sound like a god. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Hooray. Um. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Okay. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. And I talk to Ron. The data you forwarded about the Geth was disturbing. It doesn't match the stories we tell. Changing your mind? Having second thoughts about the Geth? Admirals don't have the luxury of second thoughts. What do you need? Hmm. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Okay. Hmm. Right, uh, let's go around and talk to everyone. Hello. Um. Do you have anything to say to me, trainer? I've read messages at your private terminal, Commander. Thank you. Admiral Corus has the civilian fleet back in position. And just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Mm -hmm. Commander. Da, da, da. My cousin Dawn. Navteel Vas Girgult. The civilian sh fleet is grateful you have turned off Admiral to us. I'm all those who fell in the homeworld, but Zalkoros stopped many vessels from flying past the waiting guns of the Geth. The Admiral told me you met my cousin Dawn Hast on Rannoch. It means much to me that Dawn was not alone when he passed. Thank you, Commander, for all that you have done. And he's another cap and he's a, he's his own captain. Hmm. Huh. Little stands with computers on. I haven't noticed those before. Like new. You know, I don't think so. Humor chronometer. Hello, Shepard. Oh dear. No, actually, gamma radiation isn't that bad. I, 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 if memory serves, um, arguably because um, it's got a much longer wavelength, so it doesn't have as much of an impact. Um, alpha radiation, beta radiation—they're the problems, but they kind of fade away very quickly. So gamma radiation is actually not that harmful if if my uh, physics. Is uh, um, correct, which it may not be. I 
I thought Ashley was in this one. <sighs> Need to get used to port and starboard. You made the right call down there, Commander. Got me thinking about the value of a good leader. And how many lives should be sacrificed to protect a truly inspired one. Hope I never have to find out. Hmm. Nice work down there, Commander. Strafing the enemy from the shuttle, huh? Not bad, Commander. Shepard? Oh, she makes me feel worse about my decision. It's like... Uh, I think just protecting a leader, like protecting one life, is not a good thing to do. At the cost of like an entire ship's crew. But okay, some of them are already dead. But, um, come on, Brian. Where are you going with this? But I mean, it's different in this case because Chorus is the one who's going to end up saving a lot more life, uh, saving more lives by. I feel like I've, I've interrupted a really personal conversation there. I'm glad we could help those quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. Mm. It's never a hundred percent, is it? Mm. Later. Okay. <sighs> this is really quite dark. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. Hmm. I think you, Liara? Good to see you again, Shepard. Good to see you again, Shepard. Don't think we've got any new intel. No. Hmm. <laughs> Right. Uh, 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 there might be some dialogue with Diana. Breaking now, the Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Does Dr. Tassoni ever let you in her room? Because she keeps me out. Do we need to talk, Commander? Nope. Not right now, Alice. Let me know when we do. I'm not surprised. Uh, okay, let's go around in a circle, actually. Normally I wouldn't. I assume Javik is in his... Oh, no! Oh, I've missed Javik! Where is he? He's in the AI core. Cool. Good thing I checked. Nothing to report, Commander. Hooray. Ship him. My board is free. Hooray. Good thing I checked where Javik was. Otherwise I've been like, oh, where's he gone? I've lost my Javik. Right. So we're going to, we're going to find him, shall we? But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. 
And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has attained true consciousness, as was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not.